Hello everyone, Bill Adams, Realtor at Caldwell Banker Realty. Hey, I'm excited to be back at the Beach House with Tony Short. Tony is the owner of Massages at the Beach House. Welcome, Tony. Hi, Bill. Thanks Welcome for back. being with us again. Yeah, it's been a while, but it, I mean, it's good to visit again. Yeah, absolutely. Why don't we start with a, a recap of Tony Short and your business? Well, Massages at the Beach House is still based in Santan Valley. Um, you're in my studio right now, as we were last time. I also offer travel throughout the valley, so that's still an option. Um, we are booking out all the way till December right now. We have 50 regular clients a month. Um, we do, do up to 80 a month. So either text me, email me, find me on Facebook, and then we can get everybody else on the schedule. We did over 80 a month all last year. Wow, that's great. So. All right. And the reason we're here today is because you have some new services, exciting services coming up that uh, we want to get the word out on. Can you fill us in on that? Yeah, um, I just finished my intuitive guide program. So now I'm doing oracle card readings, tarot card reading. It's under coaching on my website. I also, this spring, we are going to be doing more aqua therapy, stretching within the pool, hot tub therapy, things of that nature this spring. We just did a, over a $100,000 remodel in the backyard to make it more of a spa backyard. So that's going to be really interesting to help the athletics people getting hot treatment in the hot tub versus just relaxing in a hot tub. Mm -hmm. um, and then the newest thing that's coming up is another business um, in April. It's already got the LLC made and it's called Never Alone End of Life Doula, which is kind of like a birthing doula, which everybody's familiar with, but an end of life dueling is helping people in hospice transition to oh, wow. the next life. Mm -hmm. So those are the things for 2024. Uh-huh. Okay. So taking care of people today and prepping them for the next stage. Yeah. And a lot of grief support for the family because uh -huh. a lot of the people that are in long-term care, the caregivers don't get a break. Mm -hmm. So we're able to go in and give them that break, go home, take a shower, go home and take a nap, uh -huh. do other doctor's appointments, actually go to work. And then that way they're loved ones not by themselves mm -hmm. we learned a lot of that during covid yeah i mean that's great that you're branching out to encompass so many different aspects of one's life uh, taking care of folks their health uh, their mental state as well yeah well with the suicide prevention i do too it helps because what if somebody did try to kill themselves and didn't succeed mm. and the recovery of that is unbelievable i do have one client that's going through that for the last two years mm -hmm. and she's a remarkable person um we just did a whole class last tuesday on suicide at Sweeha, mm -hmm. and it was it was hard to talk about i mean i've lost three people in 10 years very close to me but the nice thing is there's been more education on that as well uh -huh. so that's helpful but just because we're helping people transition to the next life, it's the family we're actually supporting. Mm -hmm. The person that's dying usually doesn't even know we're there at that part of the stage, but the family is like, what do I do? How do I prepare? So what some of the things most people don't think about until they get to their 60s and 70s is how, who's going to take care of you if you get sick? Power attorneys, power of health care, um, your living will. Um, a living trust, which you have to have a lawyer for, so I can't do those. But um, all that legal paperwork, I'm 52 years old, and I've lost all my in-laws. I've lost my mom. I'm My dad's 78 years old, not in great health, and I'm like going, I'm 52 years old. I don't have any of this stuff in mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so when I'm going through this class, we finally got my husband and I done, which my kids have copies of them. So that way they, if something happens to both of us, they know who's next, Yeah, yeah. you know, but a lot of people don't think about, well, what if something happens to me tomorrow? Mm -hmm. It's tomorrow. We don't. Yeah. It's tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, that's a whole subject that we spend a whole lot of time on. It's, you know, particularly if you 
own a home, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have a trust. And with uh, LLCs too. Yes. What probate can take, my understanding is probate can take six months to 18 months mm -hmm. uh, or beyond and cost a pretty penny. And even if you're yeah. the lo lone survivor like my husband did when his mom died, mm -hmm. it took years. Yeah. Because it was in a different state. It took years. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's great catching up with you. Uh, yeah. You certainly have expanded well beyond uh, what we talked about before as far as massage goes. Uh, and that business is going great for you. You're mm -hmm. branching out. You've got a lot of new uh, exciting services to help take care of people, their health, uh, and their future. Yeah. So thanks for joining us again, You're Tony. Welcome, I appreciate Bill. it. Hey everyone, if you need these services, uh, please, Tony's available. She's busy, but she's available. <laughs> <laughs> please reach out to Tony. Uh, her information is on the profile page with this interview, her contact information. Uh, this is Bill Adams, Caldwell Banker Realty.